Hey there guys, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be discussing LastPass, a tool for managing your passwords. First, let's talk about what LastPass is and why it's so useful. LastPass is a password manager that helps you keep all of your online credentials safe and organized. With so many websites and apps requiring logins, it can be tough to remember all those passwords. That's where LastPass comes in. It securely stores your passwords and autofills them when you need them. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of LastPass, and we'll go over how to create an account and give you an overview of LastPass core features. Then, we'll show you how to add passwords to your LastPass account, making it easier to manage and secure your online credentials. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. To begin using LastPass, the first step is to create an account, and you will find that link down below in the description. So click on the first link you find, and this will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, get LastPass free button in the top right corner. This will begin the registration process for your account. Next, enter your email address and choose a password. Then click the sign up, it's free button. Once you've completed these steps, your account will be created and you will see a confirmation message. From here, you'll need to install the LastPass browser extension to start managing your passwords. This is a crucial step as you won't be able to stay logged into your account without the extension. To install the extension, follow the prompts on the screen. Once it's installed, you can sign into your account by clicking the sign in option and entering your email address and password. From there, you'll be taken to your account dashboard where you can start adding and managing your passwords. The LastPass dashboard is the central hub for managing your passwords and digital security. It's where you'll find all the tools and features you need to keep your online life organized and secure. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll see the main tabs that make up your LastPass account. Let's take a closer look at each of these tabs to get an idea of what LastPass has to offer. The All Items tab is where you'll find everything stored in your LastPass vault. This includes passwords, secure notes, addresses, payment cards, and more. It's a great place to get an overview of all your stored items and can quickly find what you need. The Sharing Center is where you can securely share passwords or other information with trusted contacts. You can also create shared folders that contain shared sites and notes. This is a convenient way to share information with family members, colleagues, or friends while keeping it safe from prying eyes. The Passwords tab is where you'll manage your stored passwords. You can view, edit, and organize them as needed. LastPass also offers advanced features like password generation and security alerts to help you keep your passwords strong and unique. The Notes tab is a secure place to save and sync any important information. You can store secret notes, contracts, or legal documents, and access them from anywhere. LastPass uses end-to-end -end encryption to keep your notes safe and private. The Addresses tab contains your contact information, including your address, phone number, email, and more. You can fill in forms with just a few clicks, making it easy to sign up for new accounts or update your information. Next, the Payment Cards and Bank Accounts tab allows you to store your payment information securely. You can fill in forms with your credit card or bank account information, making online shopping and bill paying very easy. The Security Dashboard is a valuable feature that provides an overview of your security status. It accesses the strength of your passwords, identifies weak or reused passwords, and monitors for compromised credentials. This helps you stay on top of your digital security and also make necessary changes to keep your information safe. Another important feature is Emergency Access, which allows you to set up trusted contacts who can access your LastPass vault in case of an emergency. This ensures that your loved ones can access your important information if needed. The Account Settings section lets you customize your LastPass preferences such as auto login settings, security options, and notifications. You can tailor your experience to fit your needs and stay informed about important updates. If you need more advanced options, you can explore additional features and settings tailored to your specific requirements. In addition to the main menu, there are other options available. The Search My Vault feature allows you to quickly find specific items within your vault by typing keywords in the search bar. This makes it easy to locate what you need in a flash. The Profile section is where you can manage your account settings, access the Support Center, attend training sessions, and log out of your account. This is a convenient hub for managing your LastPass experience. Now that you have a good understanding of the main features and functionalities of LastPass, let's move on to adding passwords to your account. This is a straightforward process that will help you get started with securing your online credentials. Now let's see how to add a password to a LastPass account. Adding passwords to your LastPass account is a crucial step in managing your online security. By storing your passwords in LastPass, you can keep them safe and secure while also making it easier to access them when you need to. 
So why do we add passwords to LastPass? The answer is simple, to keep our online lives organized and secure. To add a password to your LastPass account, start by clicking on the Passwords tab in the left menu. This will take you to a page where you can view all of your stored passwords. If you haven't added any passwords yet, you'll see a welcome message to your vault. To get started, click on the Add Your First Password option. A pop-up window will appear, giving you the option to choose what you want to add. You can add a password, secure note, address, payment card, bank account, or more. Since we're focusing on adding a password, choose the Password option to proceed. Next, you'll see the Add Password form, which you will need to fill out with the required information. Start by entering the URL of the website for which you're creating a password. Once you enter the URL, the name field will automatically fill with the name of the site. For example, if you enter the Facebook URL, the name will be Facebook. After that, choose a folder, enter your username, and provide the site password. You can also add specific notes in the notes section if you need to. This will help you keep track of any important information related to the password. If you need more advanced settings, you can click on the Advanced Settings option to expand additional options. These include features like requiring a master password to reprompt, auto login, and disabling auto login. You can select the options that you need to require before filling in your username or password. Additionally, you can add this password to your favorites by clicking on the star icon at the bottom left side of the form. This will also make it easier to access and identify your most frequently used passwords. Once you've filled out the form, click on the Save button to save the password. This will securely store your password in your LastPass vault, where it will be protected by robust encryption and security measures. Now your password is safely stored in your LastPass vault and you can access it wherever you need to. With LastPass, you can rest assured that your passwords are secure and organized, and you'll never have to worry about remembering multiple passwords ever again. All right, and that is it for this tutorial on how to use LastPass. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. And if you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to comment below. As always, I will do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.